The following is a review of the first Principles of Cardiac Sonography 1 unit online exam, which occurred in week 7. Question 1. Of the following anatomical terms, which best describes a structure near the front of the body? Structures at the front of the body are referred to as being anterior. Question 2. Which of the following best describes capillaries? The thin-walled capillaries are the point in the circulation where exchange between the blood and tissues occurs. Question 3. In a normal functioning heart, the movement of blood occurs in both phases of the cardiac cycle. That is, it occurs in systole and diastole. Question 4. Cardiac function is regulated by multiple factors influence cardiac function, including volume, the parasympathetic nervous system, and sympathetic nervous system. Therefore, it's all of the above. Multiple factors influence cardiac function. Question 5. When does functional atrial septation normally occur? Remember that while growing in the womb, a baby's heart includes a patent foramen ovale that allows blood to move from right to left. Only after birth does this close, meaning that the septum is not functionally complete until after birth. Question 6. The axial resolution of an ultrasound machine depends mainly on the, well, axial resolution, that is, resolution in the vertical plane, depends mainly on the transmit pulse duration. The shorter, the better. Question 7. The lateral resolution of the ultrasound machine can be improved by Lateral resolution is related to beam width and can be improved by increasing the frequency. Question 8. Increasing the dynamic range will cause which of the following two? Increasing the dynamic range means that soft tissue appears more uniform and artefacts are more visible. Question 9. Electronic focusing of the ultrasound beam occurs when the machine is transmitting and when it is receiving ultrasound. Question 10. The M mode displays shows what? A mode display shows the amplitude of echoes received from a fixed line of sight over time. Question 11. Where do the coronary arteries have their origin? The origin of the coronary arteries are the aortic sinuses. Question 12. Which of the following cardiac valves is unique in terms of the number of valve leaflets? The aortic and pulmonary valves have three cusps. The tricuspid valve has three leaflets. The mitral valve is unique. It has two leaflets. Question 13. What is what are the roles of the papillary muscles? Well, only the atrioventricular valves have cordae that attach to papillary muscles, and papillary muscles provide support for the valves when they open and close. Question 14. The systemic venous system drains into which chamber of the heart? 
the systemic vein strain that is empty into the right atrium. Question 15. You've been asked to scan a patient who has just had a myocardial infarction. You notice that an anterior segment of the right ventricle appears akinetic, that is, it is not moving. Which vessel is most likely to be blocked? Well, while coronary artery supply can vary, the most likely answer is the right marginal artery. Question 16. A typical value for the wavelength of diagnostic ultrasound is what? The wavelength of diagnostic ultrasound is small, only 0.4 millimeters. Question 17. The attenuation of ultrasound as it travels through soft tissue depends on which two of the following. Attenuation is not related to the amplitude and is not related to the gain settings. It depends on the frequency and distance travelled. Question 18. Suppose the depth of penetration is 20 centimetres when a probe is operating at 3 megahertz. If the frequency is changed to 2 megahertz, the depth of penetration will be what? Well, the depth of penetration is inversely related to frequency. If the frequency is reduced, the depth of penetration must increase. Moreover, the depth of penetration multiplied by the frequency is constant. So, to answer the question, we know that at 3 MHz the penetration is 20 cm. 3 times 20 equals 60. We want to know the penetration at 2 MHz, so we rearrange the equation. P2, that is penetration we want to know, will be 60 divided by 2 MHz, 30 centimeters. Question 19. A metal implant is displayed as a bright structure in the image because, compared with tissue, the metal has what? Well, metal appears bright because it is a strong reflector. The degree of brightness is related to acoustic impedance. Question 20. The wavelength of ultrasound is described how? Well, as the name suggests, the wavelength is the physical length of one cycle, shown on this diagram as being from one peak to the next peak. This graph shows a distribution of the marks in the first online exam, the first online exam being out of 20. Six students scored between 9 and 14, six students 15 or 16, seven students, 17 or 18, and four students, 19 or 20.